everybody, my fellow Rotorheads, and welcome back. This is the Rotary Bob Project Bro. Hello, my fellow Rotorheads. Welcome back. Uh, for those just joining us, this is the Rotary Bob Project Blog. Uh, and I am Bobby. Rotary Bob, Bob, Bobby, Francis. We're all the same person, really. Uh, anyway, so let's get into it. Uh, the last time we talked, or I talked, and you listened, thank you, uh, it was roughly two weeks ago, because I said two weeks, and I am sticking to my guns. I said two weeks, I'm going to do two weeks, I'm going to continue doing two weeks. Um, it's challenging for me, that's why I keep bringing it up. So, last time we talked, I was struggling a bit with the dash, but, ta-da, it's out. I managed to get it out, so that's uh, mucho bueno. Um, very happy about that, but there's still more that I have to take out before I can actually remove the carpet out of the car. And then once the carpet's out of the car, then I can proceed to do the other finishing touches to kind of get the car ready to go for some bodywork. Um, so what else have I done to the car? other than take the dash out. Uh, not a whole lot, unfortunately. The I'm, I'm getting ready to take my engine to get some work done on the housings. Um, what I feared, two of my rotor housings are kaput. I'm gonna take them down anyway, just double check. There's only so much you can tell from a photo. Maybe one of them is good, but... Uh, yeah, they're, they're both shot. The, the chrome plating is too thin to resurface, so... I have to get some new ones, I guess. Uh, well, that's okay. There's some other stuff coming for the engine. I will be studying the engine. Uh, so basically that means the dowels that run through the engine, all the, all the way through the, the bolt studs. Uh, I'm gonna get the holes oversized and oversized studs as well so it's more of a they describe it as a slip fit connection so it's fills the hole neatly and there's no play that should help with whatever I want to throw at the car so I'm gonna do that being somebody who has a appreciation for engineering uh, I'm also gonna do the I'm getting the whole rotating assembly balanced, so as well as lightened rotors. So that's kind of exciting, but all of this costs money, so that's why I haven't really done much to the car myself. Um, and that's coming up. I'm, as soon as I'm, I get some time off work, I gotta drive the stuff down to RX-7 Specialties in Calgary, and they'll be doing all the machine work for me and the balancing and all that stuff, as well as supplying me with a couple of new housings. So that, that's kind of exciting that there's some things in the works. I just gotta do it, get it down there. So yeah, uh, haven't done anything with the truck besides the tires that I did a long time ago. It's just been kinda sitting there. I should really start it really started. Yeah. Other than that, there's not really uh, a whole whack to talk about. Uh, the holidays are coming up. Um, Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. What's today? Hmm. Two weeks, 26th. Yeah, I can do a post. I will maintain my two weeks because it'll be Boxing Day and I'll have the day off. So, yeah, what's everybody doing for the holidays? With things being as they are, uh, are, are people staying in, are they going out, are they visiting family, are you going to be a hermit and hide in your little hobbit hole that you made for yourself over the winter? Uh, I, I, I don't know what I'm doing yet. Um, I think me and the girlfriend are going to be just kind of 
hiding out with the pets and a little bit of a tree. A tree about this big. Not really much one for the holidays. I'm a bit of a Grinch, to be completely brutally honest. Um, everybody just gets so stressed. Yeah. But I do have a chunk of time off and uh, on the 26th on the 26th I will announce kind of what's coming. Uh, I got a lot of stuff on the go. I've been kind of uh, redoing the, the stickers. Uh, that's exciting. I'm also looking into expanding from stickers to other things than stickers. Uh, so that's good. Uh, but I will save that for the 26th as it will be the last blog update for this year of 2021. So lots of news will be on that one so stay tuned. Um, other than that, I don't know. Yeah, there's not much. It was a little upsetting to hear that the rotor housings are completely kaput. There's, there's just lots of money. That's okay. If I, if I was worried about how much money this project was going to cost, I wouldn't have started it. Now I'm started and I kind of have to finish it. Hopefully it runs. I don't know. <laughs> I am still doing the engine building. I should make that very clear. I want that to be one of the highlights of this project. Um, they are not doing the building for me. It's just machine work that I simply do not have the facilities to perform. And that's it. That's all they're doing for me. They're, I'm going to get them to clean stuff. Sonic cleaner with chemicals and lots of good stuff. Make the, make the vibrations hit the stuff and the stuff falls away and it's shiny. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that's, that's about it. Save all the big news-ish for the next blog update. And, yeah, cleaning, those cleaning parts. You can tell I don't rehearse these things. Yeah, my, my parts, cleaning, chemical stuff, the, the greaser stuff is just not working. There's some pretty caked on build up on those rotors. So I'm probably going to need to do some, like I said, I'm, I want to take them down there and get them lightened. You'll probably have to put them through a, a it's called an ultrasonic parts cleaner. It helps break up all the hard build up with a little bit of chemical aid and so, vibrations. So yeah, that'll be good. I'm very excited. Very excited for what's to come. I can't wait to tell you guys. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So much fun. But uh, yeah, we'll keep this blog update short and sweet. So that's all I got for this this week. Uh, I hope I hope everybody tunes in for the next update. Lots of big announcements. Hopefully I have a little bit more progress into what I'm planning and I can give you a little bit more details. But until then, I'm Bobby once again. This is the Rotary Bob Project blog updates. So until next time, everybody, you stay classy. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.